Hey everyone, I'm Marcelo Gutierrez. Here we are. Uh, it's a few days already into our quarantine. Everyone is doing the same thing, just staying indoors. So here we are. I'm gonna share with you guys a quick routine that you can do at home without any equipment. We need to find a space. So here we are, and then I'm gonna have to move some things around so I can have some space to do some stuff. I think that's good enough. And then I'm gonna find some stuff around so we can use it as weight. A lot of you guys just go out and right away ride your bike and you're good to go. It's always good to do a proper warm up. In this case, it's called dynamic warm up. What I use is a Tabata. So you can just find the app in your phone, download it, and you set it up for one round of 30 seconds on, two seconds off. So that's a total of five minutes warm up. You go and then the side that you have your leg in the front, you come and twist your torso. You come up, you go, the other leg, you twist your torso, you come back, you put your arms here. It's like doing a deadlift with your arms crossed. Same story, 30 seconds off it. Put your arms here, you come here, then you come down. You go up with your body, you go up with your whole torso. Down like a deadlift, you come down with the ass, up, and then that's another 30 seconds, okay? Always keeping your uh, back straight. You start in a standing position, you go down to the floor, and then you go, come here, then you come back. Next to your feet, then you go down again. Then you go back. Down to your knees. You put your arms, your hands in the floor. One hand comes to the head. You come down, you go up. You come down, you go up. And then you're definitely gonna feel your torso and your back warming up and getting some flexibility. You stay straight, arm and hand go all the way to the front, leg all the way up and straight. 15 seconds and same, the other side of your body, there you go. Hand all the way straight, leg all the way straight. From the standing position, you go a bit lower and then you can, if you don't, if you don't have too much room, you go three steps, three steps, right? Always like in a squat position, you find a chair, a sofa, in this case I'm gonna use this edge. You go, put this part of your foot here, and then you try to go with your knee as close as you can to the wall. And then you go up, straight, definitely you're gonna feel it here. Maybe if you go a bit higher it's gonna hurt a bit more. There you go, oh, there you go. As long as this one is almost straight, in a straight line, then you go straight with your body, then you're gonna feel it here. You get your fingers like this, and then you come like this, up, you change your legs, like this, up. That's all the warm up. Stay straight, and then all you do is go down, go up, go down, go up. You can use as much weight as you can find, or worst case scenario, you go no way at all. You just go deep squat, deep squat, deep squat. That's a bit more advanced, but you can still try. All you have to keep in mind is that your knee doesn't go farther than your toes. So you go down, you go up, you go down, you go up, you change the leg, you do the same. Keep the balance. That's a good exercise for you guys to work on the balance because it's definitely hard. All you need to find is a table or a sofa or a chair. And then all you'll do, once again, it's a stability because you're gonna be working in just one leg. You put your other leg high in your back and then you go, same story, 
You don't go farther than your toes. Deep, you stay straight. There you go. It's working in stability and then you work your legs as well. Pretty important to wear your body. Change your leg, same story. And then same story, you can add some weight to it. You go down, you go up. So this part of your body stays over here, you go down, you come up. You go down, you go up. Same story, you can use some weight for it. Let's say you grab this, you carry it in front of you. Boom. That's a deadlift. You can also work in some stability if you want to make it a bit more advanced to give you some stability. It goes back, you come up. It goes back, you come up. All of you guys know how to do push-ups. Here we can do something. You can include this here. Let's see if this is gonna fit here. Be creative, you can use some books. You can do the same with some bottles. Water bottles or big bottles or whatever you find around. So, you put it in your back. And then you go down, you have some weight. You do your push-ups. You can find a chair or stairs or whatever. So it's gonna work your tricep, I think. You put your hands, you go towards the front, you go deep. You can add some level to it by finding, let's say, a chair. Let me get a chair. So in order to make it a bit harder, you can rise your legs. So you go, you put your feet over the chair, and then you go a little, you go up, you go down, you go up. Keep it steady, don't go too fast, so you work out in a good way. That's the masterpiece. So I use some tires, right, to get some weight, you guys either have tires or bottles or boots, whatever. Then I use two belts. I bet you guys have belts. And this is the, how do you call the thing, the stick of the brush? The good thing if you do it sitting down is that your pose is gonna be better. So you start here, next to your shoulders, you go up. You start here, next to your shoulders, you go up. You go with your arms full extended, you come down. You go up, you come down. Definitely you'll need some weight for it. If you do it with no weight, it's kind of gonna be pointless you doing this, right? You can add as much weight as you want. You can find rocks. You'll feel how you work your shoulders, your back, your arms, I guess. Stay straight. You breathe in, breathe out. Up, you go down. You can use once again the masterpiece since there is not that much weight. In order to fill it, in order to make it work out for you, you need to do more reps. So, more reps the better because you don't want to be like Popeye riding your bike. You want to be fit, right? And you want to be ripped. So, that's why these exercises are so good. So, as like I said, you can do it one arm at a time or both arms, stay straight, and then you'll feel it right in your biceps. You are in the plank position, you go for a push-up, then you go in a side plank. You go in a push-up, you go into a side plank. Push-up, side plank. The goal for you guys, as I would do it, it's three times all the exercises, each of them you go 10 times. So you go one by one, then maybe you take a break, you breathe, drink some water, get a Red Bull or do whatever you want and do it again. This one is gonna help you for the strength. You're gonna be using the whole body, working out your whole body. So hope you enjoy it.